Well, free, uh, free wine has been a bit of a mad up here. So anyway, I've got it all written down here, but it all might go a bit, you know, a bit swift, because the old guy's side's a bit too, uh... Anyway, they've finally gone and done it. The old, uh, white wedding! White wedding! Poor has been waiting for so long. Nico, I know she said, like, we can wait, and, uh, you know, no time, no rush. But, you know, that's not what they actually mean. You know, you know what we like. Yes, anyway, I'm sure you want to get the old wedding photos done from the old hairline and go to be too far back there, you know? You know it's... <laughs> oh, I want to be genuine with so far, you know? It could get worse, but it's not gonna happen. No, you're alright, you're alright, Nick. Well, when I was trying to speak to you, I was trying to think of a few things, you know. We've been through a lot, me and you know, over the years. You know, Mr. Mr. Old, Mr. Smooth, I've been trying to find a few embarrassing stories to think about him, but there's not a lot I can, you know, not lot face Mr. Nico. You know, he's smooth. He's not been in many tricky situations, apart from today, of course. <laughs> but, uh, here we go, anyway. <laughs> Anyway, when I was writing this speech, I, I thought of a lot of things and uh, a lot of in, embarrassing things which I can't really mention. Which it's not actually I'm going off spiel here, it's not even written down here, I'm not doing it. But we've had a lot of good laughs and we've got a good time out of the way. And uh, the, most, the best time I ever remember with me and it goes, we went, uh, one year we went our beef on a bit of a lad's on the just two of us. So, and uh, we, we, we actually broke the, the uh, drinking record for the, for the hotel we were in. And uh, it all resulted in Nick ended up in a, in a wardrobe. <laughs> and uh, a trash hotel room. And I, I don't know, for this, to this time of day, I don't even know how it ended up like. I just, uh, I just remember seeing Nick you know, waking up, looking up, and there's like wardrobe doors all around him, and got back out of there. And what happened there? So we had, most times we think about it on a good night out, we most of them we ended up with alcohol, surprisingly enough. And uh, most of them ended up with us both waking up with a bit of a sore head in the morning. And to be honest, I, I'm going off the tail, I don't even read it is. You know? Hang on, can I just Thanks. Okay, off my So anyway, hang on, just stay with me a minute. Right, hang on. So there's, there's a few I'm not into, and they've all gone all off, off tangent. Hey, oh yeah, when I was in the, the, uh, the hotel room, I was going to say, oh yeah, be careful, call us and all that, because blah, blah, blah. He ends up with broken wardrobe. That's all gone wrong with him, so don't worry about that. But anyway, anyway, we'll start with the end, shall we? Another name Nico goes by is, uh, well, there's a few actually, but. One of them is Stato. A few of you all know uh, Mr. Young over there will know Mr. Stato here. This is a, his incredible knowledge of uh, totally irrelevant football. <laughs> Nonsense. You know, if anyone wants to know the result of a third division Spanish team or Dutch second division top scorer, Nick goes in. You know, he knows all these sort of uh, stats. Which uh, is, you know, most people think was quite uh, irrelevant, but, you know, if Paul did ever get uh, his, um, what do you call betting account password, you'll quite know why, why he knows all these sort of things, like, there's, there's a few quid in there, I'm quite sure. <laughs> he won't let the rest of us know, but, uh, you know, he's, he's got a few quid stashed away there somewhere. So, uh, sorry. Sorry about this. <laughs> no, no, don't not. No, I'm sorry, it wasn't, that wasn't funny, no. <laughs> right, that's it, no, that's how I've got. Sorry, right, next one. Right, here we go, it's the same one. Right. Now, not me, I wouldn't call Nick home tight. Coming from you! 
exactly. Right? It might myself is quite sensible with his money. Right? Recently, my stroke is hard when he had to break, get rid of his, uh, his old Ford Escort. Right? Yeah. Oh, no fun. The old Ford Escort. And he had to smash that cash on a new uh, Ford Mondeo. <laughs> if you haven't seen his new car, don't worry. He'll have it for another 15, 20 years, don't worry. What else should I say about Mr. Uh, Mr. Titan Ty Nico, right? Well, you know, he got him paper Sky TV. He's the only person I don't know who has got Sky TV. He plays the most He's still got a phone, the old Nokia, Sony Ericsson, it looks like a brick. That's, that's brick. No, not, 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 not even a brick, brick, okay? It could be American. Yeah. And then Nico had his way, we're all sitting around the White Hart, which we all, I'm sure most of you all know, you know, miss, yeah? We're looking around a few, uh, sausage rolls and chicken roll soup around the old pool table. Right? Yeah. Right? Right? Yeah. I'm sure most of you are quite at home there as well, to be honest with you. I don't know, yeah. 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 I'm gonna try a bit now because I'm like dying of death here, so. <laughs> Thanks, Sean. Cheers, mate. Yeah. There's, there's probably a hundred more stories I've said about Nico and me, and um, you all know, but you know, you really have to be there. Thankfully, I was, and uh, Nick's been a good mate of mine. I won't bore you to death anymore because you've probably had enough of me already, but I can't blame you to be honest. And all I'd like to say is, I want to be the best man of the day. Now, I sound this microphone is really strange, but anyway. Hey, right. Hey, okay. I could have been anyone of a number of people here today. You know, here, I'm sure Nick could have chosen the best man, but unfortunately, I draw the short short. short. You know, a lot of you are wishing you were quite glad you were that now. I'm standing here trying to make you all laugh. So, what we're going to say is, thank you, Nico. Appreciate it, mate. Love you. Love you both. Um, two great friends of ours finally tied the knot. Look forward to many, many more years of happiness together. Casey and Callum, all four, all four of you. And uh, if you could all sort of stand up and grab it off, we'll all ready to take them. To Nick and Paula. To Nick and Paula. Almost. To Nick and Paula. Right, now I'm going to pass it over to Nico. Hopefully this speech is pointed out. And they told me don't worry about the best man, they're never funny, just do the thank you speech. <laughs> and this is looking really good now. So. <laughs> but I am going to start this week. It's been a pleasure today when we're by my side. We have bought you a few gifts, which are buried in there somewhere, Swain. No? But I'd open them later. Like I'm a bit disappointed in private. <laughs> On behalf of me and Paula, we would like to thank all of you for coming today because um, we had 70 odd guests and yeah, everyone's turned up and we're absolutely chuffed. We've got people from Portsmouth, Milton, Oxford, it's everyone's car, local friends, and you do get a bit panicky. Everyone's turned up and we're absolutely delighted. So we did have four bridesmaids today. We had Billy, Rachel, Amy, and my little girl Katie. Got some presents for them.
Got me, got me little boy Callum. Mm -hmm. yeah. We've had a very good day, I must say. That balloon's been removed since about 12 o'clock. Fair play, it's just done. That's a lot of We have had some help from our three nephews. If you'd like to come up, Daniel, Ryan, and uh, Jack. Yeah. Now, I will apologise now, Alex, because. As I took the swing, I can never cry because the wedding fund was on its knees. Well, Paul is on the back as well. We've got uh, some gifts and flowers. And my mum as well. and the coffees and your last of your 